Kira and welcome back to another video. Today I am very, very pleased to announce that the Fellowship of the Readathon is continuing. Over the summer in 2020, I, along with my friend Lucy from the channel Crescent Pages, hosted a readathon called the Fellowship of the Readathon, which was completely dedicated to reading the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy. It was my first time reading the series and Lucy was returning to it again because she is a big, big fan of the series. But it was so much fun and it was just so exciting to be able to journey into Middle Earth, not just on my own, but with such a wonderful group of people, Lucy and so many of you who joined us. Lucy and I both had the most incredible time and it was just so wonderful. But it was recently brought to my attention that there is a new Middle Earth book coming out in July. This is a so far unreleased piece of Tolkien's work on Middle Earth called The Nature of Middle Earth. This was brought to my attention by Lucy and also by our friend Mary from the channel Mary Among Stories, who is also a big fan of the Lord of the Rings series. And together we have decided to embark on another Middle Earth quest, this time to read lots of the other additional pieces of writings that Tolkien has written about Middle Earth over the course of the next seven months in preparation for the release of The Nature of Middle Earth. And of course, a journey into Middle Earth just isn't quite the same without a fellowship of friends around you. So Mary, Lucy and I would absolutely love for you all to join us on this journey into Middle Earth once again. So let's jump straight into the schedule on all of the books that we'll be reading. There will be one book a month and throughout the readathon we will have three live shows. So throughout the month of January, so technically right now, we will be reading The Adventures of Tom Bombadil. Tom Bombadil is a very intriguing character that we meet in the Fellowship of the Ring and I found him really interesting but he is obviously only quite a small part of the entire trilogy because he's only in a little bit of the first book so I'm very excited to read this book or this poetry collection I think it actually is and just read more about Tom Bombadil and everything else that he gets up to. In February I'm slightly terrified to say that we will be reading The Silmarillion. <sighs> I'm very nervous about this one. I've heard mixed things about this one. It's meant to be quite dense and I really don't know what to expect, but I'm very glad to be reading it alongside other people because I just don't think I could tackle this one on my own. In March, we will be reading Tolkien's Unfinished Tales. In April, we'll move on to The Children of Hurin. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly, but we'll be reading that one. In May, we'll be reading Beren and Luthien. Now, I've heard good things about this one, which I'm glad about because May is my birthday month, so it'll be nice to read a definitely good book in May. I'm sure all of these books will be good, but I've definitely heard good things about this one. And now that I'm saying that it's my birthday month, I've just realised that it's actually all of our birthday months in May. Me, Mary and Lucy all have May birthdays, so hopefully we'll all really enjoy that book. In June, we'll be reading The Fall of Gondolin. And finally, in July, we'll be finishing off the readathon with the newly released The Nature of Middle Earth. So there are lots and lots of Middle Earth themed things that we'll be reading over the next seven months. And like I mentioned, we are gonna be having three live shows, one on each of our channels. So the first live show will be here on my channel and that one will be on Sunday, the 4th of April. And in the first live show, we'll be discussing the books from the first three months of the readathon. So the adventures of Tom Bombadil, the Silmarillion and the Unfinished Tales. The second live show will be on Sunday the 6th of June, that one will be over on Lucy's channel and in that live show we'll be discussing the books from April and May. So we'll have The Children of Hurin and also Beren and Luthien. And then our final live show will be on Sunday the 8th of August, that one will be over on Mary's channel and we'll be discussing the June and July books, so that will be The Fall of Gondolin and then finally The Nature of Middle Earth. We decided to go for three live shows rather than having one every single month just because we thought that would make it easier for people to participate. We know this is a lot of reading, there's so much content about Middle Earth that we're all going to be reading over the next seven months. And we know that not everyone's schedule allows them to do loads of reading every single month so we hoped that by spreading out the live shows and putting a couple of books into each one of those live shows it would mean you have a little more time to catch up and try and join in with as many of the reads as possible. 
And of course, some of these texts are smaller, some of these texts are larger, so putting a few together just means that we'll have plenty to talk about in every live show. But as well as those three live shows, we do also have a Discord group. This is the same Discord chat that was created for the original fellowship of the Read Along back in summer. So if you joined us for that and joined in with the Discord, you should still be on that server. But if not, I will have a link to the Discord in the description box down below so you can go and head over and join us there. The Discord is basically just a place to chat about all of your thoughts on any of the books that we read throughout the readathon, which means that we don't need to wait until the live shows every couple of months to discuss all of our thoughts because we can all keep each other updated and chat about any thoughts or ideas that come up as we're reading. And also, if you haven't yet read the Lord of the Rings trilogy, there are still sections on the Discord chat for the three books in the Lord of the Rings trilogy, as well as the movies. So there's places to chat about all things to do with Middle Earth on this Discord server. There'll be sections for each of the books. We'll have spoiler sections and spoiler free sections. So you don't need to worry about finding out about anything that you haven't quite read yet. And there'll also be places for you to leave questions that you'd like us to discuss in our live shows. I honestly think the Discord was the best thing about the Fellowship of the Read Along back in summer because it was just such a great place to discuss all of our thoughts in real time and just to connect with other people who were on the same reading journey as me and as Lucy and as all of you that were reading along with us and it just is such a wonderful community so I'm so happy we can reignite that with this new readathon. And finally, I would just like to mention that whilst the provisional dates for those live shows, as I've mentioned, are the 4th of April, the 6th of June and the 8th of August, which would make those all the first Sundays of those months, they are subject to change just because they're so far in advance. It's kind of hard to know what we might be doing in seven months time, but provisionally we're aiming for that first weekend of each month. And we will, of course, keep you updated on our social media platforms. I'll keep you updated here on YouTube and, of course, on the Discord chat as well. And I believe that is everything that you need to know about the fellowship of the readathon continued. I'm genuinely so excited about this because I loved my first reading experience of Middle Earth and of The Lord of the Rings and what made it so incredible was the fact that I was doing it alongside Lucy and alongside so many of you guys as well and now of course our wonderful friend Mary has been able to join us for this one and I'm sure that lots of you will be joining along with us as well. And it's just such a wonderful experience because you do feel like you are part of a fellowship, which is just so wonderful. So I'm so excited to be journeying back into Middle Earth with all of you guys. All of the information that I've mentioned today will be in the description box down below, along with the Discord link. And of course, the links to my two co-hosts, Lucy and Mary's channel. So I really hope you will be joining us for this reading experience. I absolutely cannot wait. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time.